be delighted if if uh, the governor would, would assign an, an inspector general. Berkeley County School District Board member David Barrow wants the governor to look into the hiring and firing of the superintendent. Barrow says he's appalled by board chair Mac McQuillan's statement last month describing why Dion Jackson was fired. Now, Tara Jabor spoke to Barrow today and the South Carolina Department of Education about BCSD. Tara? Tessa, David Barrow refuted every single claim Mac McQuillan provided in his statement about why Dion Jackson was fired. Barrow believes McQuillan has violated BCSD board policy multiple times in the last month. The board did not delegate Mr. McQuillan the authority to issue this statement as an action of the board. I had no knowledge of this statement until it was published on the district website. David Barrow says he was once again caught off guard. Board Chair Mac McQuillan's statement released on November 23rd indicates he made some calls before Dion Jackson was fired and Dr. Anthony Dixon was hired. He says he called Dr. Dixon to gauge his interest in the job at BCSD and he called Dion Jackson to let in him know about the possible action, even requesting him to resign. He obviously is a bright man. He's an attorney. And he knows the policy BA. He knows that he did not have the authority to call Dr. Dixon. He did not have the authority to tell Mr. Jackson and Dr. W uh, Dr. Richardson that they were going to be terminated. McQuillan outlined several reasons why Dion Jackson was fired. He says academic success declined during Jackson's time as superintendent. Barrow says McQuillan failed to mention that other factors like COVID and past superintendent's emphasis on personalized learning also contributed. Mr. Jackson became superintendent on July 1st, 2021. He was superintendent for 16 months. The board unanimously to give him a proficient evaluation just weeks prior to his termination. Next, McQuillan says Dion Jackson deteriorated the district's relationship with SLED and DSS. McQuillan cited a recent incident when an SRO at Stratford High School was charged with sexual exploitation of a minor student. He says, quote, one high-ranking district employee was instructed by district leadership to not talk with SLED, end quote, about the issue. Barrow says that claim is not true. The aforementioned employee was instructed to refer any requests for records to the district legal counsel. The employee released boxes of documents and videos to SLED without the knowledge and or consent of legal counsel or superintendent. McQuillan also pointed out a just case really, where BCSD um, at the direction of the superintendent wouldn't allow DSS to interview a student without a district rep in the room. Barrow says that's always been district policy. I have been involved with Berkeley County School District since 1969. It has always been Berkeley County practice to have a counselor or administrator present when a social worker interviews a child. And I tried to get McQuillan's response to all of this. I called him today. I also emailed him, and so far I haven't gotten a response. Tessa. Now, Tara, you've also been looking into Dr. Anthony Dixon's certifications. Does he have the official superintendent certificate required to hold this position? Tessa, as of this moment, no. Certifications for teachers and administrators are all listed on the State Department of Education website. Dr. Dixon does not have the superintendent certification. I confirmed that directly with the Department of Education today and asked the school district why. A district spokesperson provided a statement outlining some of Dr. Dixon's educational qualifications and background leading up to 2018 and then went on to say, quote, Dr. Dixon requested an update to his certificate to include superintendent as a certification field and representatives from the State Department indicated to him that they are only awaiting receipt of a form to be completed by representatives from his program of study. Once that process is complete, his certification will accurately reflect superintendent as a certification field. Now we asked the district exactly when Dr. Dixon requested an update to his certificate. Tessa, we're told that information would have to come from the state. We're waiting for the Department of Education to respond. Bye. New tonight, there are questions about whether or not Dr. Anthony Dixon, the new superintendent of Berkeley County School District, is certified by the state to do that job. Tara Jabor joins us live now. She spoke to the State Department of Education about that certification process and how it works. Tara? 
Tessa, right now on the State Department of Education website, Dr. Anthony Dixon has two certifications for a leadership professional. Now we have those on the screen here, one for elementary principal and one for elementary supervisor. But to be a superintendent, you're required by the State Department of Ed to have a superintendent certification. That certification is not listed for Dr. Dixon, but it is listed for recently fired superintendent Dion Jackson. Yet, Dr. Dixon is the current superintendent of BCSD. Earlier today, I spoke to Mary Hip from the Department of Education. She told me all educators have to be appropriately certified for the positions they hold. So how can he be superintendent if he doesn't have a certifi certificate? that he's trained to be superintendent. I'm going to defer that to the district. Yep. And the, the board of trustees. I spoke to BCSD spokesperson Katie Tanner about the issue. She said they would send a statement in response to this, but we're still waiting for that statement. On the phone, Tanner told me Dr. Dixon is putting together the documents for the certification. I then spoke to the South Carolina Department of Education about Dr. Dixon's paperwork. They told me Dr. Dixon is aware of the missing paperwork he needs to file for superintendent certification. That paperwork they said is from South Carolina State University. Now coming up tonight at 6, hear from David Barrow, a current board member. He says Mac McQuillan's statement on why Dion Jackson was fired is appalling. Working for you, Tara Jabor, ABC News 4.